If you look at any list of powerful African-American women, you will find my next guest on it. She has had at least three careers in her lifetime and continues to make an impact as director of the Smithsonian's National Museum of African Art. At 75 years old, she doesn't look it. Trust me, this woman will not quit. Dr. Janetta Cole, we're certainly glad to have you in Washington Watch. Oh, thank you, my brother. Roland Martin, it's good to be here. Likewise. So, so tell us about uh, the museum and just uh, the great stuff that you're doing now. Mm. Well, as far as I'm concerned, we are the museum because we're the only museum, the National Museum of African Art, that has visual works from the only place in the world from which we all came. So, you know, I like to quip. It doesn't matter what you look like, race, gender, doesn't matter. Go back far enough, you are an African. And the sooner white folk acknowledge they're <laughs> Africans too, the better our world is going to be. Now, when we talk about art, I mean, mm. I mean, obviously, some people look at certain pieces of art and they say, I have no idea what that is. And then others say, oh, they try to explain the whole deal. And so uh, do you see that this generation has the same appreciation of art that we've, that we've seen in the past? I think there's a different kind of a relationship, and that's what we have to make sure that we honor. When young people walk into our museum, they're walking in with something in their hand. Right. That's why we're so proud to have an app. So if they go into Artists and Dialogue 2, they bring their little app, and the next thing you know, they are walking through and they're hearing a conversation. They're engaging. Mm -hmm. they, they may tweet. They may engage the artists. We've got to understand that these young folk, you know, it's not that they mm -hmm. don't care about art. They may simply relate to art in a different way. Now you talk about the app. Now we have uh, here on the HP Touch Smart uh, screen here uh, some pieces of art here. So tell us about this first one here. Mm. This is our signature piece for an exhibition called Central Nigeria Unmasked, Arts of the Benue River Valley. You know, Roland, Nigeria is known for anyone who has much information about art, mm -hmm. about African art. But we tend to think about all kinds of areas like Benin, Ife, but this is a relatively unknown area of Nigeria where there are somewhere around 200 ethno-linguistic groups. And so this exhibition mm -hmm. allows us to say, even if you think you know about Nigerian art, you probably need to know more about that particular area. So we got some other pieces here as well. Um, uh, so uh, we talk about where it's coming from. Um, describe exactly what we're looking at mm -hmm. for the folks at home. Mm -hmm. What's important is that we're looking at exquisite expressions of human ingenuity and artistry. Mm -hmm. But we're also, when we look at traditional art, we're usually looking at works that weren't meant to be placed somewhere on a wall, standing in a museum, right. but are very much a part of the ongoing lives of people. This is again from Central Nigeria Unmasked, the Benue River Valley. Wow. Well, certainly some great pieces here. Uh, how can folks access the museum in terms of when is it open and how long will this exhibition be in place? Mm -hmm. We are a part of the Smithsonian, which means every single day of the year, except the 25th day of December, walk into the museum 1030 until 530. Sorry, 10 until 530. But this is the most important part. It's all free. It's all free. Can't beat free. You can't beat <laughs> free. The exhibition that we're looking at, images from Central Nigeria mm -hmm. Unmasked, will be there until March. But every gallery in our museum at the moment has something right. to teach, to inspire, and simply to make us feel good about who we are. Well, I know we're talking about art. Next time we're going to have you on, we're going to talk about education. I of course, since so. you're a former president at Spelman and Bennett College, so we we'll look forward to having you back on Washington Watch. Anytime you ask me to come, I will be here. All right, Dr. Cole, we appreciate it. Thanks so much. I appreciate you.